that hit the entertainment industry again as Onyeka Onwen, the former songwriter, singer, passed away. Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Kali's Chris TV. Please subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Hit the notification bell to get notified anytime a new video is posted. Nigerian music legend Onye Kowen, popularly dubbed as the Elegant Stallion, has died at the age of 72. Oweno reportedly collapsed after performing at the 80th birthday party of Stella Okoli, the chief executive officer of Enzo Pharmaceutical, on Tuesday, the 30th of July 2024. According to close relative, Onyeka Oweno passed out after performing at the event. After the performance, she went to her seat and she slumped. She was rushed to the hospital to the Reddington Hospital in Lagos, but she was reported dead. She died as a result of high blood pressure. Cohen was born on the 17th of May 1952 to D.K. Owenu in Arundi Imo State. Her father was a politician but she lost him to auto crash when she was just four years old. She is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, actress, journalist and politician. Owenu attended Wellesley College of Massachusetts, USA and possesses a BA in International Relations and Communication and a master's degree in Social Studies, which she obtained from the New School from, from Social Research in New York. Oweno attended Wesley College of Massachusetts, USA and possessed a BA in International Relations and Communications. Oweno was a staff of the United Nations in New York, where she lived and worked for many years before returning to Nigeria in 1980. Oyeka Owenu did her mandatory one-year national street service at the Nigerian Television Authority (NTA). She began her music career in the year 1981 while still working at the NTA. Then she released the album For the Love of You. In 1988, she teamed up with Ken Sonny Ade in a track titled Mada Wolohon Let Them See. After the very positive response the song got and the patience to fans, demands for more. She and the master of Juju music did two more songs, Wait For Me and Choices. In the year 2013, Onyeka was named as one of the three judges on the Nigerian version of X Factor. Onyeka Owen later joined politics and became a member of the People's Democratic Party. She was appointed the chairperson of Imo State Council for Art and Culture. On September 16, 2013, President Goodluck Jonathan appointed Onyeka the Executive Director and Chief Executive Officer of the National Center for Women Development. Onyeka Owen has features in, in numerous Nigerian movies and in the year 2006, she won the African Women Movie Academy Award for Best Actress. In the year 2014, she acted in the movie Half of a Yellow Sun together with Shuetalo Ejofo and Tandia Newton. Onye Kawenu has two sons of a failed marriage. She, in one of her interviews, she let us know that she single-handedly raised her children up from the scratch to where they are today. In the year 2000, Onwenu protested against her former employer, NTA, over their refusal to pay royalties on her song, and after then, Director General Ben Mura Bros listed her from the transmission. She embarked on a hunger strike outside the station. Activism attracted widespread support from various artists, including Charlie Boy, who lambasted Nigeria reluctance to pay royalties when songs are broadcast on television and radios. NTA resolved to settle the issue amicably, but denied bearing Onwenu from appearing on their station. She made a very touching viral BBC short documentary about Nigerian 40th year's birthday, where she stated that nothing seems to have changed 
in how we manage our economy, politics, leadership, and so on. It's like Nigeria has been in circles since independent. Owen Notable keeps her personal life private and often refuses to disclose private information regarding her ex-husband, a Yoruba Muslim, with whom she bore two children. Guys, this is indeed a sad news. But who are we to question God? God knows the best. May the soul of Onyeka Owenu and may the souls of all the entertainers, may their souls rest in peace. Amen. Guys, drop a prayer for repose of our soul in the comment section. And also drop your condolence message to the family in the comment section. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for more. Thank you guys for watching. Oh,